Hi folks, today I'm back and I'm here with an update. So first of all, Merry Christmas to all you viewers. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Here today, we are going to be going and we've got the short horns here and then I'm gonna be going and showing you the flock. And I might just show you a project I'll be working on as well. Here's Lizzie. Okay, so as ever, as our oldest viewers may remember, we have had Lizzie on the farm since February. We bought her at the farm show, and man, is she looking good out here. She was bred and put out with the bull in August, around, I think, August 8th, and yeah, so her winter hair is coming in good. Um, so basically, she's supposed should be calf, have her calf at, at the earliest in the beginning of May, and then she will um, calf, and we'll see what happens from there. But my grandpa's cows, they went out with a bull at the beginning of July, so they should be calving around April. So hopefully calving goes good, but for now, hopefully the cows just have a good, easy winter. And that they can ha have a good calving season. So now I'm just going to go over and take a look at the weaned calves. We've got both heifers and steers in this group. Um, hopefully I will be able to find a good, really nice good looking steer in here. I did see one with a lot of white. And so I might just show that steer for the upcoming 4-H year. So hopefully that works out good. So we're in the barn now, and I'm videoing for the highly requested flock update. So basically, we moved the feeder. It was over there originally in the first video, running north to south. Then it was right along here. And now my dad moved it out there so that they can all get to it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a feeder because they waste a lot of it. And you can see it on the ground. They like um pick through it just like people they go for the best stuff. So basically, I got a um panel over here. I'm just gonna staple it up to the one of these side walls over there, and um at an angle, and then it should um hold, and they then I'll be able to uh, have a feeder, and they won't waste so much. So I'll film video in that as well. So basically, comment down below what you want to know about the ewes. I think the first ewes, um, ready to be, is supposed to lamb January 28th, um, or 23rd, th or, and the 23rd, excuse me. And, um, on uh, December 19th, we, um, gave them all shots, pre-lambing shots out in the barn. And that worked pretty good. We just cornered them over there and grabbed them one by one, and... Yeah, so that worked pretty good, you know, just give him a five millimeter shot to help with lambing. And man, that's a quality long U. Um, so yeah, basically me and my sister, we're going to show these U's when, um, these U's lambs, excuse me. So now I'm just going to get to building, so stay tuned. All right, so I got my feeder built here. I'm still going to have to figure out something, what I should do for the sides so they don't go right through the sides. Because, um, then they don't really have to work for it. But, I feel, you know, it, this is already helping for waste. You can see, all I did was I put two staples in on that top board. And took two strings, tied them together, and then for each side. So I used four strings, two staples, and a stock, old stockade panel. And I made a um, feeder. That's how easy it was. So, yeah, this will help with wasting. It'll be a little harder to get the feed over here. But it'll be fine because it'll save a lot of hay. And you can see how they have to go through the panel. But, um, yeah, they're um, not letting it all fall out. And um, so basically it'll help from waste. So, yeah, I'm gonna have, definitely have to figure out something out on the side so that they don't get their foot caught or anything like that. So, yeah, other than that, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And any questions, comments, concerns about the sheep or the 
Shorthorns, or Grants, Livestock, be sure to comment down below. And above everything, have a Merry Christmas.